So what's up YouTube? Welcome to this channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Jess Roof. I'm a Nigerian-based content creator focused on fashion and lifestyle, who is also passionate about video production. So this video is like my most wanted video. I mean, if you're close to me, you know I recently invested in new gears. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you what I got, why I made the switch, mistakes I made, and the links from where I got them as well. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the first thing I'll be talking about is my camera, which is like the most important thing. I've been using my phone to film for a while, which I still am right now because I want to show you guys my new equipment. For my next video, I will be using my cameras. I use my phone to do virtually everything. I use my phone to shoot, I use my phone to take videos, I use my phone to edit, I use my phone to take product pictures, I use my phone for clients and all of that, just boring stuff. But then I needed an upgrade. Do you get it? I needed an upgrade, I needed a mirrorless camera. You know, I also needed that vlogging camera because you know what's this lifestyle without vlogging? It will make things easier while transferring files like for editing. Do you get? It? So I started my research and I had so many options. I cut all my options down from Nikon, Sonic, Fujifilm, Blackmagic, Canon, and Sony. Then the last two was like my options, then Canon and Sony was like topping the list for me. But when I saw the price, like you know, the A7 III, the A7 IV series or more, I had to reverse because. <laughs> So this was something that, you know, I was going to buy with my savings. So I started looking out for Canon cameras. I talked to my tutor, Kigan from Kigan Tech. He's really good with videos. He uses the Blackmagic Cinema camera, which is like almost 3 million naira, which I obviously can afford right now. Maybe soon, by God's grace. With my budget and everything, I decided to get the Canon M50. This is the Canon M50. I think it's a great entry camera. I got it from, uh, from a camera dealer in Computer Village, Lagos, Nigeria um the camera body is like solid i got everything for like three th three hundred thousand naira which is like really cheap because i didn't get the lens because i don't need it um i'll tell you why though um this is the camera body which is what uh this is what it looks like it has this really solid build i love it it usually comes with like kit lenses which is like from 15 to 45 millimeter lenses and that's like perfect for photography or outdoor content and i won't really recommend it for indoor content since i was like going to use it for a sit down video so i dropped the lens and i got just the body for 300 000 i reached out to kegan again on my choice of lens and he told me to get this efm to efs adapter and an 18 to 35 millimeter sigma zoom lens the adapter was like 155 dollars on amazon and the lens was about 699 dollars on amazon my head was already calculating like how much was this in there was shipping fee and tax and all of that till i met samdek kiran once told me about samdek and i reached out to samdek and i started sending him my screenshots from amazon and he actually had them like this was really exciting i was so excited and i asked if he would accept payment in, in installments which he agreed to um so i got this um efm to efs adapter what it does is that it allows you to mount your Canon EF to EFS lenses onto the Canon EOS mirrorless digital camera. It has an EFM lens, so this it comes with this box with um, a few two manuals. Do you read manuals? It's important you read it, but I don't. And this is the adapter. Like it's really compact and cute has a protective case here and another behind so i'll put this on one side because we're going to mount this camera together and the next thing on the list this is like my sigma 18 to 35 lens this thing is giant i got this for about 552,000 naira from Sambek as well i'll leave a link to his page in the description box so at this time, man, my head was already thinking like, hmm. The more The Sapa is to power Sapa. Opening the box, this is how it looks like. It comes with manuals too. You can decide to read it because it's Chinese. But I, I, I won't read it still. 
there is this protective bag which is like really solid and like soft yeah then the arms ah, la, la, la. this lens it's really huge though like for real and it's heavy so i don't think anyone that is trying to get this kind of lens should put it on a light with a tripod no you should actually invest in getting a heavy tripod then this also came in the box to protect the lens as well i think it's just sitting it like this so um i'm trying to install the adapter into the camera installed now my lens can sit comfortably in this shape and with this is what works as a camera it's heavy for real so i don't recommend this on a light with the tripod it's really heavy so it has this case in here to protect the lens and this and just sit in this and we're good to go apparently so this is how the lens sits on the adapter and the adapter on the camera body this is a super amazing lens if you have a small room this works perfectly also for vlogging as well sit down videos styling videos and all of that it's so beautiful like i'm not even going to lie um i tried looking for canon mirrorless camera lenses and trust me sigma just like just came to save canon's life because all those canon lenses on amazon has one comma for the other it's either they're not very good for indoor videos or the image stabilization is poor so like one thing just led to another and i decided to get this sigma lens from Samdeck. thanks to Samdeck and a big shout out to him because he played an important role in getting this he was really patient with me so the next thing is the road wireless mic i had a wireless mic i bought off jumia i think for maybe ten thousand. i'm not really sure i can't remember but i needed something better let me quickly open it up there are two mics and one receiver it has uh oh it has windbreakers you know wind is blowing during your vlogs like instead of this mic picking the sound of the wind of the wind like it give you a clear and crisp audio when the breeze is blowing i got this for around two hundred and ten thousand naira. it's really expensive but it's worth the investment it comes with four cords as well three usb-c cords and one into in you know there are also this is also a leather pouch to protect your mic as well and there's this is very hefty tripod i got for my canon camera because it's quite expensive and i'm not i'm not trying to risk my expensive camera with the ultra light tripod i had before so it was quite a good investment for me then i got the suit photo by light and the rgb light as well this is the suit photo p100 by light i got the softbox alongside with it it was pretty difficult installing this but thanks to youtube i watched a few videos and i got a hold of it and this is the suit photo p100 rgb light i got a snoot alongside to channel the light on the image i would be projecting it on i got all these lights for sandbag i'll talk more about it in my next video so you definitely should watch it the canon camera with the lens is a really heavy device altogether using it to vlog will be pretty difficult so since i needed a vlogging camera i have a canon and at that time sony just released a new budget vlogging camera so i decided to jump on it thanks to sound deck like this is the sony zv1 vlogging camera it comes in this box it's cute it's compact i just love it it's light comes in manuals as well so you can as well read it and i have opened this box but this is what the camera looks like it's cute it's compact i love it it is light it has an inbuilt lens exactly it has an inbuilt lens and man i must say this is amazing it works perfectly for vlogging it has a stand which works just like a remote control which i might still get some people say i have a shopping problem do i I, I really don't know i just think i have to get what i want or what i need 
So anyways, back to what we were saying, I've tested the ca this camera and I must say that Sony did a great job on this. The video quality, the stabilization, everything is really, really superb. I wasn't going to include this, but this is my new laptop. The 2021 MacBook Pro. Guys, I've been wanting a new laptop for ages because my other one was slow and dragging and I needed to upgrade my editing software to, to Final Cut Pro. This is like my very first MacBook that I'm using ever. I made researches on whether to get the 2022 Air or the 2021 Pro and I got to know that the Pro is like a much better option than the Air. So if you're going to be doing like a lot of editing on this, I think you should actually go for a Pro. So I thought that this was going to be a very very good buy. So I'm going to link my laptop plug, Gadgetify, in the description box. You can totally hit him up and like let him know. What you, have, what you have and it will actually give you the best choice for the budget. I've learned Final Cut Pro and I'm still learning it. I mean, it's, 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 it's complex and anytime I get stuck, I quickly go back to YouTube to check because <laughs> that's the only way out. My favorite thing about this laptop is that it has this HDMI port for an external monitor, which I'd be really needing. I'm still looking to get a dongle, which I'd let you know when I do. I'll let you guys know. Guys, this is it for my gear haul and this is what I've chosen to invest in. Pay attention to the word investment. I didn't just buy them to play or because I needed toys or because I needed to have less space in my room. They are for better productivity. I bought them because I wanted an upgrade. I wanted the growth. This is something that is going to be giving me returns. Like This is YouTube. Soon I'll get monetized and while waiting on YouTube for that, I'll have to work with like different brands and charge more. For you to charge more, you have to like be very professional so that was the aim i could have gone on a vacation or a shopping spree with money but i decided to throw it into my brand because you guys deserve quality content and brands that are going to pay me this year and next year deserve quality content i'll do all i can to ensure that everybody gets that so that's like for sure so that's it for this video let me know if you guys have questions whatsoever drop them in the comment section i'll reply to all please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to drop a nice comment share my video and i'll see you in my next video